Francis Scott Fitzgerald's novel The Great Gatsby is considered as the embodiment of the American dream. In fact, it's the novel's one of the major themes. So what's the American dream? It is the set of ideals that anyone can make prosperity without regard for race, birth or social status. Every individual has the opportunity to fulfill all their dreams with hard work, perseverance and dedication. If they are dedicated, if they hard work hard, they are successful. Apparently, we may think that Fitzgerald in his novel focuses on how individual can recreate themselves and become successful no matter where they begin. In fact, it is clearly visible in the transformation of the poor farm boy James Gatz to the millionaire Jay Gatsby. However, I think Fitzgerald takes the idea of American Dream and projects Jay Gatsby in front of us with another heightened message. Fitzgerald specifically critiques uh, the American Dream within the context of the Roaring Twenties, a time when growing affluence and changing morals led to a culture of materialism. Consequently, the characters of The Great Gatsby equate the American Dream with material gold goods, despite the fact that the original idea did not have such an explicitly materialistic intent. The novel suggests that rampant consumerism and the desire to consume has corroded the American social landscape and corrupted one of the country's fundamental ideas. He places very little faith on the ideals of American dream during 1920s by considering it a myth and he also tries to project the fact that the American dream is not true for all of the people around us. Let's look at Gatsby, for example. He has all the money that you could ever want. He has every material position that any man could ever need. But he cannot have one thing that he really wants, that is Daisy's love. Although Gatsby did everything what he could to take a part in the upper class society and to attain Daisy, he couldn't. Actually, he is not a part of that upper class society and will never fit into that society. What Gatsby shows us is that the dream does not r r release this message for the poor man like him or George Wilson or Martha Wilson. Whatever you do, you cannot reach to that society, that upper class society. In fact, chasing the American dream comes with harsh realities for them. So the message we find here is that too much reaching is bad for one's happiness. Too much dreaming can kill you if y you are dreaming the dream of empty prosperity. In Fitzgerald's novel, the theme of love has been projected through the relationship of several couples, mostly Gatsby's love. Gatsby's dream of love symbolizes the death of love itself. His love towards Daisy and his affinity and admiration of her seems too much idealized and therefore futile and unreal. Gatsby thinks that he loves Daisy, but in reality he loves the memories of her. He is still in his thinking and feelings of her as in five years back. Daisy is now not the same person. Daisy on the other hand simply loves to be adored and have the social status, but she doesn't love Gatsby in person. That's why she chooses Tom over Gatsby in the end. And it makes the fact clear that Gatsby and Daisy didn't broke up because he was in the war, but he was poor and he couldn't secure a social status and a happy life for Daisy. And that proves Daisy's superficiality. And we see that Gatsby, to his own detriment, has spent his life chasing a love he has idealized beyond all realistic boundaries. That means their love has failed. We also see that love fails for George and Martel Wilson, for Daisy and Tom, and for Nick and Jordan Baker. Jordan Baker is not morally intact, her superficiality makes Nick helpless and he breaks up with her. Daisy is married to Tom Buchanan. It is an unhappy marriage of convenience. The idea of unhappy marriage is not limited in the upper class only. Tom's mistress, Martel Wilson, is a spirited woman in a seriously mismatched marriage to a suspicious dull man, and he chases after Tom Buchanan. In the end, we see that the conflict of love causes three deaths. That means we find 
the clear idea about Fitzgerald's view of love that it's not successful and we, we can we can relate it to the reflection of his own love relationship with Zelda Sire. Time, in fact, is an important theme in the novel The Great Gatsby. Characters revolve around past and future and present to find something that they have already sacrificed or lost. Nick and Gatsby are continuously troubled by time. The past haunts Gatsby and the future weighs down on Nick. When Nick tells Gatsby that you can't repeat the past, Gatsby says, why of course you can. Gatsby has dedicated his entire life to recapturing a golden, perfect past with Daisy. Gatsby believes that money can recreate the past. Fitzgerald describes Gatsby as overwhelmingly aware of the youth and mystery that wealth imprisons and preserves. But Gatsby mixes up youth and mystery with history. He thinks a single glorious month of love with Daisy can compete with the years and years of experiences she has shared with Tom and she already has a child with Tom. Just as new money is the money without social connection, Gatsby's connection to Daisy exists outside of history and that is why Gatsby's love towards Daisy and, and his dream of over overarching the time is really just an idealism. Social classes and wealth. Federal differentiates between the newly rich or the new money and the old money through geographical locations. West Egg, where Gatsby resides, represents the people who worked their way up to the wealth. That means they are newly rich people. The newly rich are portrayed as gaudy, vulgar, and lacking of social graces and tests. This is shown through Gatsby's mansion, his Rolls Royals, and his unique choice of clothing. Gatsby tries to push his way into the upper class society. He tries to gain status by buying British shirts and claiming that he attended Oxford University. But his money is unable to bring him into the upper class society and Daisy chooses Tom over him in the end as a result. The East Eggers prove to be inconsiderate and self-centered which allows them to maintain the upper Echelion. Gatsby however proves to be sympathetic which ultimately leads to his demise in the end, thus proving the dominance of inherited wealth in the society of the 1920s. Then comes the degradation of society. The Great Gatsby is highly symbolic meditation on 1920s America as a whole. Federal portrays 1920s an era of decayed social and moral values, evidenced in its overarching cynicism, greed, and empty pursuit of pleasure. Following the first post-war emotional relief, accessibility of consumer goods and affluence soon led to an unrestrained pursuit of wealth, pleasure, and material goals. The destructive nature of materialism and the society's crumbling moral values are vividly portrayed in the novel. The reckless jubilance that led to decadent parties and wild jazz music epitomized in the novel by opulent parties that Gatsby throws every Saturday night. Gatsby's simplistic views of life, his abiding belief that Daisy will leave Tom Buchanan and marry him again, is evidenced regularly in his attempts to buy people's loyalty, friendship and love. We can see that he has tried to buy Nick through his money as a friend. Tom's relationship with Martel Wilson represents decayed moral values. Daisy's superficiality represents the lack of in-depth feelings for people. Martel's mesmerized by glamour she sees in the elite is willing to trade the moral heaven of her marriage for the chance to join the upper class. In that pursuit she eventually loses her own life. Jordan Baker again is uh, really a character who is not true enough and uh, as, as she is lacking truth she has to end up her relationship with Nick. As a whole we find that during 1920s 
the unrestrained desire for money and pleasure surpassed more noble goals and that is vividly portrayed by Fitzgerald in his novel The Great Gatsby. Another important theme we see is that superficiality versus truth. This theme is the best ex examined by looking at the characters of Jay Gatsby, Tom Buchanan and Jordan Baker. Gatsby's entire existence personified superficiality. From his pseudonym to his fabricated past to the lavish parties he throws, all this represents his superficiality. At his core, Gatsby is motivated by his love for Daisy. He seeks power and money to be accepted among the wealthy and describing of her love. However, he is so immersed in the lifestyle of the elite that he has lost his way. The Buchanans and Jordan Baker also lead superficial lives. Directionless existences characterized by luxury, wealth, power and the never-ending pursuit of pleasure and more.